Middleport Pottery has got to be held up as a shining beacon of, of potential for redevelopment. These historic buildings, combined with economic activity, continuing economic activity, can really change the, the lives of people. This is so important. Uh, I, I believe in it. Very exciting for the Prince's generation to just have our president, the Prince of Wales, come and see all the work that we've been doing over the last three years. He's been before, but he's not been since we finished it. So it's really been exciting. And to have so many people here enjoying it. It is an enormously special day when we can actually demonstrate to all of you the way something like this Middleport pottery can be brought back to life. When English Heritage approached my trust about the imminent closure of this world-famous company, and the seemingly inevitable breakup of its workforce, the loss of traditional skills. Perhaps you can imagine I was determined that this could not be allowed to happen. The industrialized ceramics as we know them, as we use them in all our homes, was an invention in Britain, here in Stoke. Middleport were one of the few people still making stuff in the same way, in the same factory. It was essential, it was saved. When I came here three or four years ago, it was leaking, it was freezing cold in the midst of winter. Today, the factory has been mended. It's nothing short of a transformation in, in every respect. The main credit to everyone who's been involved with the project has been the way that they've actually conserved it I mean, in its original format. So it's not too shiny, everything feels like it did when we arrived, but now it's a, a working and, and functioning space. You could walk in and think, well, when are they going to do the restoration work? But it's done and it's been done in such a, a way that you don't know and it still retains that wonderful atmosphere. Since its acquisition here, uh, back in 2011, my trust has been working tirelessly to conserve and regenerate Middleport pottery so that traditional pottery production can continue. New craft businesses can be given an opportunity to grow and, importantly, create an education and visitor attraction so that local people and those from much further afield can learn about our wonderful British ceramics industry. It's not difficult to get the Prince of Wales involved because he loves Middleport, he loves coming here. He's very passionate about Staffordshire, he's very passionate about craft skills and preserving craft skills. Stoke-on-Trent has actually got a very cultural, artistic background. And you talk to these girls who do the transfer work or you've talked to the old painters, what skill, what incredible skill. It's a handmade product. It's not made by machine, it's made here. Prince of Wales just said before, this is the cradle of ceramics and we should celebrate that. I've always believed that heritage led regeneration, in other words, finding new uses for uh, redundant heritage buildings and turning them into real assets for their local communities is absolutely vital in bringing new industry and business to the area, boosting the economy and providing much needed employment and prosperity. This area, like lots of areas up and down the country, have gone through difficult times. And I think there is potential where, with the right passion and qualities for a particular project, in, in the way in which the Prince's Regeneration Trust have bought that, then there's a way in which a business can grow to become a better place. The Prince's Regeneration Trust brings with it a lot of publicity, a lot of uh, investors, a lot of interest in the local area. Regeneration isn't just about buildings, but it's also about communities and it's about people of our city. Bit by bit, the community has been put back together again, and I think people realise that. There's a generation in Stoke who now have grown up not knowing about the pottery history, but Middleport's keeping that alive. That's got to be a good thing. I don't think we can underestimate the value of what His Royal Highness brings. He's a passionate champion of everything that has taken place um, at Middleport Pottery. It wasn't for him. I don't think we'd be here but through his enthusiasm and passion for this, then it's made a huge difference. And I think, true to his vision, hopefully we've created a business that can last for future generations. And the contribution made to this country by the potteries has been enormous. So I'm absolutely thrilled that this pottery is alive and breathing once again. Thank you for your support.